Have I mentioned how much I hate tripod shopping? Hello world, my name is Matt Spa, and I'm a photographer, videographer, and guy who's not ashamed to admit when he's made a mistake in Atlanta, Georgia. A couple of weeks ago, I posted a video called Tripods Compared, Benro versus Manfrotto, or Manfrotto, as I've heard some people say. I live in the southeastern United States, and around here, it's Manfrotto. But anyway, in that video, I compared the 502 head on the 055 legs to the Benro S8 Pro head on the A373 legs. You'll notice that setup is now conspicuously absent because I have sent them back to Adorama. That head started to display what for me was an unacceptable amount of movement in the tilt when it was locked down. In Benro's defense, I sent them a video, which I'll show you in just a minute. They contacted me, got back in touch with me, we had some nice conversations, but no one there would ever confirm whether they thought my head was defective or whether or not the amount of play that I was showing in my head was reasonable or within spec for them. That was a little bit troubling because it was pretty significant. Here, I'll just show you the video that I sent them. Counterbalance is set to zero. The load is balanced over the top of the head and the fluid drag is off. If I put even moderate pressure on this, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's moving and it's locked down. This part is not moving and this part is. So if I put my finger right here, I can feel this moving, but this barrel in the center is not moving. So hopefully that's helpful and you can shed some light on my issue. That was what I would consider an unacceptable amount of movement for a head that's supposed to be locked down. And it's funny, now that I'm back to using this 502, I kind of realized the blessing and the curse of these terrible ergonomics. The curse, of course, is that you can't get to anything. The blessing is that they work really well. Because this lockdown is right here above this rotation point, it's able to exert a significant amount of force. Because this wheel is centered on the rotation point and it's big, you can actually muscle this thing down. It will hold your camera still. And I'm talking about budget tripods. I realize that I'm not gonna get $10,000 Sockler performance out of a sub thousand dollar tripod, but a tripod has one job and it is to hold your camera still. And the Benro S8 Pro just didn't do that. And again, in their defense, they've never confirmed or denied that it was defective or it was in spec. The fact that I haven't heard from them leads me to believe that it probably was in spec. But who knows? I'm not, I'm not here to badmouth Benro. They've been really awesome to me. Just their product did not perform like I think it should. But back to this thing, it's lacking a couple of features that I want. I really want that adjustable counterbalance because I use a wide range of weight loads. And I want some positive stops in the fluid drag system. And this doesn't offer that. So I'm down to two units. I'm down to the E-Image GH06 head on either aluminum or carbon fiber, more like video sticks, not these single leg pieces. And I'm looking at the Sockler XL, Ace XL. One drawback of the GH06 is that you can't remove the ball. So you could not pull it off the ball, put the ball on the bottom of a slider, put the head on top and be able to, to go with it. So the ball is permanently fixed, so they say. I talked to them. The Sockler, you can do that. You can remove the ball and you end up with a flat bottom head. So there's some flexibility there. But the Sockler's 980 bucks. The E-Image um, on carbon fiber sticks is... $699. So we're talking about more money. That Benro unit was $500. The aluminum version of the GH06 setup is $549. So just $50 more. If you have experience with either of those, please give me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. That's the purpose of this is for me to gain information as, we're as, as well as selling it. If you have an S8 Pro head and you think it's awesome and you're not seeing what I was seeing, please, please, please comment down below. I would love to know if that head that I had was defective. If it was, I'll go buy another one and try again. If you like this, consider subscribing. I don't know, this wasn't really typical for me. This was a little bit more of a ramble. No script, no anything. But you could subscribe anyway. You can give me a thumbs up. You can tell two friends. You can ring my bell. And um, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.